So continuing to remember today, HPD Sergeant Chris Brewster, who was killed in the line of duty Saturday. Yeah, funeral arrangements have been made for Brewster. A visitation is being held tomorrow evening. His funeral is Thursday, but Channel 2 has uncovered some distressing details about Brewster's killing. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon is following the sergeant's death this morning and wrote police seem to think that Brewster's bulletproof vest may have failed. Yes, that's right. But first, I want to show you this. This display of blue lights is just one way the city is remembering that beloved sergeant. This, as like you said, investigators are asking the question whether or not the bullet that hit that hit the sergeant was designed to go through bulletproof vests. Three days after a deadly shooting took the life of 32-year-old HPD Sergeant Christopher Brewster, Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo is digging into what happened. Saturday, Brewster was responding to a domestic violence call. Police say 25-year-old Arturo Solis then opened fire, hitting and killing the beloved sergeant. Last night, Chief Acevedo sent a note to all officers saying Brewster's department issued a bulletproof vest, which may have been penetrated by one or more rounds. The the chief says there will be expert analysis on the bullets to see if they are designed to penetrate ballistic vests. This as officers mourn the death of this colleague. His remains were brought to the funeral location ahead of his services. There's no right or wrong way in terms of the mourning process. Meanwhile, one neighbor says some of those bullets hit her home. Her two young children were inside. Her 11-year-old was outside. A uh, bullet uh, ornament fell from the tree and I saw the bullet fly in and just that. And this community is now looking for answers as they honor a life well lived. Reporting live downtown, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.